What's going on, everybody? It's J Money with Invest in Yourself, bringing you guys another video today. Make sure you guys like up and subscribe to the channel and just follow the journey, man. But let's get right into it. So today we're going to be talking about how to beat the competition. And this goes for any business out there. So number one, thank you cards. Thank you cards may seem very simple and just like, ah, you know, they're just going to throw it away, this, that. But people do appreciate them. People really appreciate that that uh, when you go out just a little bit out the way and just say, hey, thank you again for your business. You know, for example, I have these little thank you cards I ordered off um, Amazon, if I'm correct. Um, I think it was like $10 for like 27 of them. Bought the stamps, probably two, three bucks, you know, $13 in total to ship them out. And I do that every month. So every month I'll, I'll gather all the customers I did, you know, get their addresses, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I ship them out. And I, I've had, you know, two, three guys text me back. Hey, man, I actually got your card. You know, you know, it was very sweet. Thank you so much, man. Look forward to doing business with you again in the future. And that's what it's about, man. You know, it's just reaching out saying, hey, thank you again so much because you're the reason my business is thriving. Right. Number two, you got to view your customer satisfaction as an investment. I'm going to say that again. View your customer satisfaction as an investment. What I mean by that, you want to make sure that your customer is completely always happy. And yes, and no one's always going to be fully happy. But as long as you're professional, you're kind and you do a great quality job, they will always return back to you no matter what. So also another key point to add to that is, you know, just go a little bit out the way. You know, their satisfaction is your investment and an investment is a long is a long term, obviously. Right. So. If I want my customer to continue coming back to me for years and years and years, I need their satisfaction to be 100% every time I do service with them. Because then it doesn't even matter who else even offers a lower price or this, that. They know that I built a relationship with them and I'm always delivering quality results every time and we don't miss, right? So view your customer satisfaction as an investment. And number three, respond in a timely manner. And what do I mean by that? So let's say someone's asking you for a quote or it's a returning customer wanting to book again. Respond in a timely manner because, for example, for my fellas out there, you guys, uh, you guys ever, you know, spoke to a female and she's just taking hours to respond. Obviously, you start to lose interest, you know, because it's like, yo, like I'm trying to talk to you. I understand, you know, everyone's busy at times, but come on now, like you, you, you're definitely on your phone. You know, you know what I mean? So respond in a timely manner, guys, because we're a business. We don't want our customers to be waiting hours just to know the price of what we're going to get done or maybe just answer their simple questions. It's annoying. You know, I think we can all agree to that. So respond in a timely manner, whether at least at least just within an hour. You know, I understand if you're busy. What I do is if I'm on a job, I mute all notifications that aren't aren't for my business. So if I get a notification and I feel my phone go off. Okay, I know that's a potential client. So I will, you know, I will turn off the machine real quick, text them, boom, boom, and I'm back to work because I know that customers respect responsive businesses. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all next week. Mm -hmm.